All right, now we're going to look at these muscles and the upper traps. These are muscles that really knot up with stress. It just seems like stress and pain here goes together. You can work this with your hands. It can be a little difficult. I like to get mine right back here, and I work the fingertips, and you can work circles like this. Again, you need to be aggressive. There's a lot of muscle soft tissue here that needs to get kneaded out and relax, or you can simply... Now this you have to get directly on the skin. I'm gonna go on my shirt, but you wanna go on the skin works better and pull, and we call this splain technique. And you can work up the neck like you're just trying to pull your skin apart and you're just getting those muscles to relax and you can just feel the muscle relax and that blood flow return and it makes you smile. Now, a nice option is the back massager that we talked about for the back, the legs, and the calves also works for the neck. Mike's using it right now. How are you doing, Mike? Good, you just have to find the right position that's comfortable for you. You can try it with the tooth facing up or down. Just pick what feels good. This feels really nice right here. I'm ready for a nap. There you go, you can nap. Okay. Now, a couple of muscles that really can tighten up and cause headaches and stress are the temporalis muscles, and they're right above your temple. That's where they got their name from. When these muscles tighten up, in my situation, it is uncomfortable. And if you can relax those by a circular. Now, you use your fingertips, and you get in here, and it just instantly feels better, and you can work them different directions. Again, after a while, your fingers will get a little sore from this. You can use something I found that I thought was absolutely a joke. This eye massager Mike is wearing, I thought, what is this? I was gonna absolutely throw it in the garbage thinking it was just some kind of a toy. I've used it and I'm actually absolutely fall in love with it. It actually massages these temporalis muscles. It heats up so you get warmth with it and it does some massage gently around your eyes, a little bit on your eyes. If rubbing your eyes like this doesn't bother you, this will absolutely not. Very gentle, 